The Bible says we are begotten by his word. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Like you said, the Bible said the word come down and become flesh and dwell among us. Yeah. Amen. That God could be with us too. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Amen. But you know what, church? It's amazing today that the, the people today in the modern churches today, they, they're, they're in captivity. Yeah. Amen. The devil's got to be in captivity. Yeah. Amen. Because the church, a lot of the churches today are not preaching the word. And therefore, <coughs> the Bible says because they, they're not demanding the word. Yeah. Now, church, I'm not going to go to no church if they're not going to preach the word. Yeah. I'm not talking about, brother, uh, Tony, some sugarcoat stuff. Yeah. Now, I'm talking about where, where we can grow. Amen. I'm talking about some meat. Can I hear an amen? amen. I've had amen. Enough, I had enough milk when I was just a little baby in the Lord. Amen. But this is what I said. Now, I know a baby has to have milk. Amen. And they, they, they desire that sincere milk. But after a while, they've got to get off that milk, Brother Fred, and get back on the Word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The nation grow, praise yeah. God. Amen, now, Hosea, now the Bible says there in chapter 4, verse 6, he said, my people... Now, church, we tell you, there's no different stand than they are right now. It's because they, they have rejected. It doesn't mean that they didn't have the word, but they refused to, they to accept the word. Yeah. That's the same thing today. They are refusing to accept the word of God. Yeah. Amen. And the Bible says, my people are destroyed. Amen. For the lack of knowledge. And because thou hast rejected my knowledge. God said, because you have rejected my mother, I'm going to reject you, praise God. Amen. That means church, they're, they're, they're just going to be the object from God. Hallelujah. Yeah. And, and, and the Bible says, now church, the Bible says here, he said, let, let in uh, Psalms 149, I want you all to turn to Psalms 149, 6, Now I want you to mark that in your Bible. Because God tells us to do, to do two things. Amen. And he says, first of all, he said, let the high praises of God be in their mouth. Yeah. Now, church, I've never come to a place that I didn't want to worship and praise God. Yeah. The Bible says that everything they have breath, praise yeah. God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Most of yeah. all, let us praise God in the sanctuary. Yeah. Psalm 149, verse 6. Yeah. And church, he said, let us, amen, have, let, let us praise him with our mouth. That means, church, let us, let us always praise him and glorify him and lift him up. Because, church, that's what God wants us to do. Then he said, amen. Now, church, he didn't say the left hand because he and all people are not left handed. Yeah. When you was in the, when they was back there in the, in the army back then, they, they had to hold a shield with the right hand or left hand. And, and uh, therefore, they, they had to have the right hand to protect themselves. Yeah. He said, he said, let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. Yeah. I tell you, when you get the word of God in your hand, the devil can't do nothing with us. Oh, you listen, that's my sword. I mean, I said, that's my sword. Yeah. That's how I defend myself. And that's the church people, they don't have yeah. that, Brother Fred. It's because they, they, they rejected knowledge. They're rejecting the word of God. Yeah. And church, but we need, praise God, his word, that we can have a sword in our head and that yeah. we can defeat the devil because we don't know when, whenever he's going to come against Amen. us. But if we got the sword, glory to God. Amen. we, we got to defeat. I'll give them yeah. a head clap, church. Hallelujah. Amen. Church, I thank God. Amen for the Bible. Yeah. You know, if we, did, if we didn't know, if you didn't know your Bible, see, the Bible says to study the ship, to study to show thyself approved unto God. Yeah. Amen. We've got to know the Word of God. Oh, yeah. Because church, we'll, we'll be the same boat that the people in Hosea have. Because, because church, if you don't study the Word of God, read the Word of God, yeah. live in the Word of God, abide in the Word of God, yeah. you are rejecting God. Amen. Amen. You rejected his word. Amen. Amen. This is the challenge tonight. Amen. You gotta get in the word of God. You gotta take time for the word of God. You gotta work yourself with the word of God. You gotta be familiar with the word of God. Hallelujah. Because that's your sword, that's your defense. Hallelujah. You know, if it wasn't for the word of God tonight, I wouldn't know the power of God. Yeah. I said, if it wasn't for the word of God tonight, the Bible, yeah. I wouldn't know the power of God. Yeah. But the battle with Israel, 
They was in bond. They didn't realize they was in bondage to captivity because they was under the Roman Empire, and they, they didn't know that they they was free. They were in captivity, and I hear an amen. amen. But thank God, church, don't you know something? Yeah. The Bible tells Jesus told the Pharisees. And the Sadducees and the scribes and the, and the rulers and all that. He, he told you what he told them. He said, You do err yeah. because you don't know the scripture nor the power of God. Amen. They're supposed to be Amen. teachers, they're supposed Amen. to be professors. They should know the word of God inside and out, but yet they were in bondage. They didn't know the power of God. They didn't recognize Jesus come yeah. down Amen. and become a flesh. Glory to God yeah. and dwell among God. Yeah. They, they denied him. Glory to God. Lord, I thank God for his word. Woo. Yeah, the Bible says in Mark chapter 12, read this right, Mark 12, verse 2, Jesus said unto them, Do you not err, therefore err because you know not the scriptures or the power of God? I know the scriptures. I know the power of God. Yeah. I know, church, it wasn't the devil yeah. that moved the mountains for me. Yeah. I said it wasn't the devil that moved the mountains for me, Brother Tom. It was God that moved the mountains. Yeah. Yeah. And I know it wasn't the devil and that it killed the giants. Yeah. Well, it was yeah. That was the power of God. Yeah. Because the Bible said that the, when the enemy comes yeah. against you, he said you raise up a standard, glory to God. Yeah. Yeah. If you didn't know the scriptures, you wouldn't know, hey man, that how to go to God for healing. Amen. 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 I know what the Bible says. The Bible says, for any sick among you, call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over them. And then Lord them with all. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Are you listening to what I'm saying, church? Yes. Amen. Oh, glory to God. See, if you didn't know the Bible, Amen. you don't know the power of God. Amen. 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 The Bible tells us Amen. First of all, it says the word of God is for my righteous. Yeah. Now, church, the Bible said God is holy. Yeah. And we want to walk with God, we've got to be holy. Yeah. And you watch, church, this Bible tells me how to live right. Yeah. Amen. It shows me the righteous of yeah. God. Hallelujah. It shows me how I need to walk, yeah. how to talk. Yeah. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah. Glory to God. And it shows me glory to God that sometimes I have to wait on God. In other words, I gotta have patience. No, church, we tell you the church in God's a meeting more in these modern day churches, they don't know what patience is. Are you just we got sometimes that we gotta wait upon God because God knows the best for us. I said God knows the best for us. We don't have to work it out. Now, sister, one of the sisters said a while ago. That she tried to do everything. Don't you ever try to do things for yourself? Because you ain't going to do it. That's where God comes in. Amen. And says, I'm going to give you patience. But in the meantime, Amen. lean on me. Yes. Like that song says, lean on yeah. me. Amen. I never let you down. I always be there with you, glory to my God. I want you to know this word is something tonight. Yes. It gives me to help me learn what God is. Yes. And the glory of God. It helps me to have patience. And there is times I would know that it was him that left his arms around me. Because he said, I'm the God of all comfort. Amen. When you lose your loved one, he's got to wrap your arms around you. When you doubt it out and need somebody to hold you, he's there and he'll wrap your arms around you. That's why God said he's your comforter. I said he's your comfort. He knows how to comfort. Yes, oh, I didn't I didn't have the Bible, I wouldn't know that. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. But most of all, Brother Tony, the yeah. Bible says he's my hope. Yeah. Not some dead hope. No. But it's a glorified hope. Amen. It's a lively hope. Yeah. That means church Jesus died yeah. on the cross of Calvary. Amen. Amen. He went and died and was prayed in the tomb, Brother Fred. Yeah. Glory to God. And so on the third day, he said, I'm going to be resurrected. Amen. And on the third day, he was resurrected. Glory yeah. to God. That lets me know my God is alive and is well, yeah. and I can lean upon him. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. He lets me know he's alive. He's, he's my hope tonight. Amen. Yeah. This whole world is about ready to wrap up. Yes, it is. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I mean, we're living in some terrible times now. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I know a lot of these churches 
these dead, I hate to say it, these dead, dried up churches. Amen. The, the pastors are dead as last year's bird nest. Yeah, they are. Amen. Yeah. They have no anointing. Yeah. Amen. Don't, don't know how to come. See, you gotta have a you gotta have a word from God. Yeah. Amen. I said you gotta have a word from because He's all that knows your heart. Right. He yeah. knows what you're going through with. Yeah. He knows when you need comfort. Yeah. He knows when you need me lifted up. Yeah. He knows when you need to come to the door. See, yeah. when the Spirit of God is like a sword going inside the yeah. joints and the barrels. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And, and, the, and the mind and her mind and knows what we need. Amen. Yeah. Well, I think I'll, I'll just take, just, I'll, I'll be praying for you, but just right now i got to get that hole in one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can do everything else, but they can't come to church. Amen. Amen. You, you know what, church? When I was growing up, yeah. now the church will not save you. Right. You, you can join in, you can join 50 churches, but it won't save you. Right. And you can love that dead pastor all you want to, but he ain't gonna save you. Amen. 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 Jesus Christ is the only one that can save you. Amen. 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 But I'm here to tell you, praise God, it's gonna take Jesus yeah. to give us hope. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Praise I gotta have a praise on my lip and a sword in my hand. Whoa, glory to God. Hallelujah. Yeah. I would not know how powerful God is yeah. until, I got, until I got into the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you know what, church? We wouldn't know, like I said, the Bible says, we wouldn't know how God makes a child out of you. Yeah. No, we Amen. Yeah. Bible tells us we, we don't become a child of God, amen, by, by somebody praying over you. Yeah. You don't become a child of God because you join the church. Amen. And you don't become a child of God when the preacher says, God knows by how God understands. Yeah. And he understands what? Yeah. He understands that you're a sinner and you need to get saved. That's what it yeah. means. Yeah. And you're not going to get saved yeah. until you yeah. receive Jesus Christ. No, yeah. God doesn't understand. He knows one thing that you are a sinner. He yeah. understands that. Yeah. That's why He sent His Son down here yeah. that we can be saved. Glory to God. Yeah. And we don't preach sin anymore. Sin is sin. That sin is death. Yeah. And that yeah. sin yeah. you thought that was hell. Amen. 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 But God sent His redeemed Glory to God. Yeah. Died on the cross. Yeah. That we can be redeemed from sin. Amen. God understands. No, God don't understand. You just come to church just the way you are. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. You can come and be a, a, a homosexual. You can come and be a, a, a killing babies. You can be a lost sinner. You can be whatever you want to. Yeah. I want everybody to come to church when they're a sinner. Yeah. Or when they're a sinner. But I don't want them to come in a sinner and go out a sinner. Yeah. I want them yeah. saved. Yeah. That's what they need to come to church for. They need to be told that they need to be saved and sanctified yeah. and justified yeah. by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. God is real. But they wouldn't know it. No. See, we don't get saved by the will of man. Yeah. No. We get saved by the will of God. Yeah. Amen. That's the first thing God told us in John. That's what it says. Yes. John chapter 1, verse 10. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. Could you imagine somebody back in the world? Amen. Didn't even know him? Yeah. And it says that the world knew him not. He came into his own. That means he come to the Jews. Yeah. The educated. Yeah. The one that's supposed to know him. Yeah. That was one that was, was, uh, had a covenant and, and everything else with him. But they didn't even know him. They no. didn't want to know him and they rejected him. Yes, they did. Yeah. He come to his own and they knew him not. Hallelujah. But as many as received him, all we got to do is just yeah. look at Jesus. Hallelujah. And say, God, I'm a sinner. But you know what? You got to tell people that you're a sinner. Amen. You got to tell God. It's just, you can go to the Pope all you want to. I go to the preacher all I want to and yeah. tell them I'm a sinner, but they can't save me. No, they can't. But I can go to Jesus. Yes. Now, I can direct you to Jesus. Amen. I can direct you no faster and all. Yeah. 
and tell them you are a sinner, but if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, and then God will save you and deliver you if you really believe that he was resurrected and really believe that he was raised from the dead yes, and confess it with your mouth. He said, you shall be saved. Amen. I can't save you. Glory the church can't save you. The Pope can't save you. Murray can't save you. But Jesus can. Glory to God. But as many as received him to them, he gave power to become the sons of God. Listen how he does it. Even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor the will of the flesh, no, the will of man, man did not have nothing to do with it. That's right. Amen. But it said, but the will of God. Yes. Right. It was the will of God from the time right. the creation was made. Yeah. Amen. When man fell, yeah. he already had a covenant made. Yeah. He already had a promise. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He, he looked at his son and said, one day I'm going to send you down there and you're going to redeem all mankind yeah. that will come to you yeah. by the blood of your brother. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yeah. See, we wouldn't know, amen, how to, how to witness to anybody. Amen. The Bible says we've got to have a, have a preacher. Or we've got to have somebody that knows something about the Bible and tell them that they're sinners how, and how to get saved and everything. Yeah. The Word will tell us how to be saved. Amen. 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 So yeah, the yeah. Word of God tells me how I need to get saved and how I can be saved. Yeah. And when I get saved, I need to go tell somebody else tell them how, they, how they can be saved. Yeah. Not a man, not a blood, but the will of God. And he sat down his word, glory to God, and he died for us that we could be saved by yeah. his sin yeah. and that atonement that was, that, that was shed by his blood yeah. that washed yeah. all the sins away. Amen. Amen. The modern day churches don't want to hear that about sin. Sin, that's a mistake. I ain't <laughs> sin. You can call it a mistake or whatever you want to call it. It's sin. And sin mean? brings forth death. Yes. Yeah. Glory, glory. Tell me how I can get saved. Woo, glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says in Romans 10, I know this may be a little bit long here, but the Bible says in Romans 10 and 8, see, we got no, when I was in prison, when I, when I went to prison and went to jails, no, I wasn't no outlaw, but when I went to preach to them in jail and prison things, that was the main topic. Amen. They didn't want to hear nothing else. I had to tell them just what Paul told the Roman church. He said, the word is nigh unto uh, thy, thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith. Yes. Which we preach. See, if we didn't know that we couldn't preach the word of God, we couldn't preach it. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe, shall believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteous, and with mouth confessing man unto salvation. For the scripture says, Who shall believe on him shall not be ashamed or be disappointed. God has never disappointed nobody, Amen. no soul, Amen. no sinner whatsoever. He'll, he'll, he'll never disappoint you no, if you confess Jesus with your mouth. Amen. That he is the Lord Jesus Christ and he died for our sins. He yes. will never Hallelujah. disappoint you because he will save you and deliver you and raise you up and change you. And by his blood, glory yes. God, Hallelujah. he will sanctify you. He will justify you. And through the spirit of God, I can New person out there. Woo, glory to God. Amen. But if we didn't know, this is just a simple message tonight. Okay. See, if we didn't know the scriptures, how can we tell anybody that? I thank God for this Bible. Yes. I, I thank God for the Bible. The Bible's everything to me. I learned right. the word. And I sure wouldn't know how. Yeah, I wouldn't know how I could overcome the devil. You know that, church? You wouldn't know how to overcome the devil. No, not without Amen. The, the devil makes you think that he's all powerful. Yeah. He's all knowing. Yeah. And, and you're without a hope. Yeah. Yeah. I've got power over you. Yes. Well, he told the truth. Yeah. If they didn't yes. have Jesus, he had power over them. Yes. Yes. And, yes. and he ruled over them. Yeah. 
that as soon as they find out that they can through the word of God, that Jesus can save them and break every bondage, every hope, glory to God, and cause the, he calls the devil to be defeated, and all we got to do is look to Jesus, and sin no longer has control over us. See, the Bible says, the devil comes to seek and to save those yeah. which are lost. Yeah. And the Bible says he comes in yeah. like that's John 10, 10. And the Bible tells us, amen, that he comes to seek and destroy. And destroy. Yes. But he said, amen, we'll be able to stand against him by faith. Amen. In the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. He's like a roaring lion. That's all he can do is just roar. Because when he starts roaring, I'll just give the word of God to him. Get my heavy devil. I ain't going to listen to you part of my lady. But there ain't no devil going to hold me down. I got that song. Ain't no grave going to hold me down. And ain't no devil going to hold me down. Give him one ahead. He said, I will give you power to how to resist the devil. Amen. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11, find it. What the he said, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Yes. Put on the whole armor of God. Yeah. Yes. yes, a part of it, of oh, the whole armor. Amen. From Genesis to Revelation. Amen. 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 Nothing in between. It's all Amen. between. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand the evil day and uh, having done all to stand. And the other goes up there and say that we can stand against the devil. Amen. All we got to do is take the word of God. Amen. We can stand against the devil and withstand the evil world. Yeah. The church, we're fighting both of them. Amen. Amen. I said we're fighting both of them. Don't let turn the television on sometimes. That's right. Yeah. Go out here somewhere. You know what? It's almost dangerous to walk outside. Yes, it is. Amen. And I'm a good shot. It's not so bad I my wife become a pistol packing woman. <laughs> <laughs> in a lot of places I go, which I pray I'll never have to use it, but I got I got me one on my side. Because I'm gonna protect my wife and my family. I'm gonna protect Amen. them. Amen. I mean I got a right to do that. Because Amen. we're living in a bad time right Amen. now. Amen. 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 If they would have to have a, a, a what was it? A, uh, uh, a slang. Staff and a shot and everything. Of course, I would have, if I could shoot a slang so I keep one, I wouldn't need no pistol. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, he, he could spit out, I guess, a hair of a grip. Somewhere like it, I don't know. But the idea of it is, church, we're living in bad times. An yeah. yeah. evil world. Yes, sir. And an evil devil. Yeah. But we know what we're going to encounter see Jesus Christ up. loves us. Hallelujah. Amen. But I gotta know the word that he let, to let me know he loves me and nothing can separate me from the love of God. That's right. No death, no devil, no angel, no prince of power, nothing can separate me from the love of God. But one thing, I gotta serve on that. Only one thing can separate me and you from God. Amen. That's, well that'd be two awesome. things. Yeah. Think about it. Nothing. No principality, no power, no rules of darkness, no spiritual witness, high places. Nothing. The word of, that is word in Jesus Christ. In closing tonight, I would know that I could have hope if I didn't know the Bible. Yeah. Because it let your heart, heart not be troubled. John 14 and 1 through 6. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Amen. If you believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you so. And I will prepare a place for you. Where I, if I go prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Then you can turn over to Revelation 21. He said, There don't be no more death, no more sin, no more devil. Praise God. I'm going to a place where there's no devil, no sin, no more God. And I'm going to be with Jesus. But I wouldn't know that. If I didn't know the Bible. Amen. Amen. A lot of people preach that Bible like it was nothing. You have those people. I don't have a witness here now. I, oh my goodness. I, I, I don't have my phone. I gotta go back and get my phone. Where's my phone at? They're 
Did I find out back to the house get the bottle? But they don't be coming to the Bible church. Can I hear an amen? How many know what I'm talking about? I hope I don't know what Exactly. But thank God for my Bible. Yeah. Because I know what I know. Amen. Because of this word. Amen. Would you stand tonight? I believe everybody's uh, saved tonight, but if you're not saved tonight, 